Hi, I'm Deshola. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome to the family. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for always viewing my videos. You guys keep me motivated to come up with something new. Today, I'm going to be teaching us how to create this beautiful head fascinator. It's not as hard as people think. All you really need is a bit of spare time and creativity. So without wasting our time, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be kneading the things on the table. First of all, I'll be kneading my glue gun, crinoline, that's what that net is called. Um, glue, pearls, feathers, I love feathers, Alice band, scissors, then we have the tape roll, the thread and needle. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of two yards of crinoline. Two yards of crinoline. So, right now, I'm measuring 18 inches, doubling that. Doubling that, I cut out 36 inches. That's one yard. But to be honest, I was just playing around. I had no specific measurements in mind at the initial stage you know i was just playing around with it and then i realized that okay 36 inches was going to be too big the bow was going to be too big and dramatic so i decided to reduce it okay so i've reduced it to 28 inches and the excess that i cut off from the 36 is that little piece you're looking at over there so now i'm going to be overlapping the edges at the middle to form a bow just like you're seeing now okay so let's leave that aside for a while now i'm going to cut half of 28 inches which is 14 inches imagine you're creating a half bow instead of a full bow so i'm going to cut that yep so now i'm going to go back to the 28 inches and overlap it in the middle squeeze it at the center like i'm creating a bow and i'm going to tack it to hold it in place so i'm using my needle and thread the thread is doubled so it's thicker than usual and i'm just going to sew it a couple of times just to secure the bow So now I picked up the other one, the 14 inches that I called the half bow and I'm going to be placing that in the middle as well. So it's like I'm forming something, something that looks like a club. Yeah. So I'm going to tack again to hold that one in place. So you tack as many times as you can. So you're sure you know you're holding it in place okay so we're all done with that this little piece is about seven inches or 7.5 inches is the leftover from the one yard I reduced earlier so now you're going to fold it into two and then roll it about the edge to form a rose if you watch my previous video on how to create a turban cap you would be able to form a rose but i think by watching what i'm doing here you will understand the whole process so you're going to tack it at the edge remember that crinoline unravels easily so you have to be careful and you also have to be fast and don't worry if your hand or your fingers ache in the process of doing this i was experiencing the same thing the whole time but make sure that you don't let it go it's, if not it's, not it's going to unravel okay so we're done tacking so um remember to tie it remember to knot the thread so the thread doesn't come back out okay so i've done that now so this is the leftover piece of the crane. It's about 23 inches, folding it into equal halves now. I'm going to repeat the same process. 
you know this one now is is going to be like 11.5 to 12 inches is bigger is the resulting rose is going to be bigger than the first one i created but with the same process i'm going to form a rose with the remaining two pieces of crinoline that i have left okay so i'm all done now with the three roses so the next thing is to arrange them on top of the the foundation the first set of bows i created so i think i'm going to place the middle the small one in the middle and then i'm going to glue it with my glue gun and um, the feathers i'm also going to be measuring now five inches Although when I cut it, I, I just cut it, but when I measured it, it was about 5 inches. So in case you need to know. So now all you need to do is just to pull the trigger of your gun and dispense some glue on top of the crinoline. And then you hold the, the two pieces of crinoline together until you fuse it or until the wax, the glue wax gets cold. You see, I even forgot to put the small one in the middle, but I, I think it's still okay. It's still nice like this. So I'm going to hold it in place until the glue cools down. When the glue cools down, instead of it being a clear gel, it's going to be a whitish looking substance. Okay. So while the glue is still hot, I'm sewing to tack it down. Because once the glue cools down and becomes hard, your needle won't pass through the spots where the glue is anymore. And also be careful because the glue tends to be very hot. Remember the glue gun is plugged to electricity and heats the candle wax or the candle glue to melt it. So make sure you don't touch it. It, it tends to burn. Okay. So now this um, feathers is about 5 inches long. So I'm just going to be, you know, pleating it on top of each other to form something like a fan. And now I'm going to tack the pleats in place so it doesn't unravel. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just tacking it in place. Remember to secure your knots after tying. Okay, always tie the thread. So now I'm cutting the excess crinoline underneath the fascinator in progress yes because it, it can be prickly it, it could prick you so I'm, I'm going to cut that off so this is how i want the feathers to look that's the position i want to place it so now i'm going to continue tacking to you know join the feathers with the crinoline so that's what i'm doing now yeah so i'm going to be using the glue gun just for extra security you know to hold the feathers in place some more i don't want it to come out so after applying the glue you you know press a bit and then you tie remember to always tie your thread before you cut it okay so now that i have succeeded in tying it i will go ahead to cut it as close as I can to the knot. Okay, so now I'm picking up my Alice band and I'm measuring the full length. The full length of this one is 15 inches. Half of 15 inches is 7.5. Because I want my fascinator at the side, I'm moving two inches away from the middle at 9.5 and I'm applying my glue to that spot. I'm applying my glue to that spot. So before the glue cools down, while it's still hot and clear, you press it to the fascinator you had created. So you press and hold for a few seconds. When it's getting tacky, you can now put it down and allow it to dry. So basically, the fascinator is finished now. But you guys know me now. If I don't embellish, I'm not yet satisfied. So in this case, I'm going to be using white pearls and wine pearls. 
so two colors of pearls. I'm just going to be using it to decorate the midpoint where the feathers, you know, meets with the uh, crinoline. So uh, basically, I'm done now. I'm just going to add finishing touches by gluing it with my B6000 glue. And then I'll show you guys how I rock it. So this is how it looks guys, I'm done with the whole thing. To wear your fascinator, always make sure that your hair is neatly packed and tucked in. So for this one, you can wear it to the left or to the right. I particularly like it on the right hand side, but you know traditionally women wear it to the left. So you pick whichever one you like. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've been able to learn one or two things from my video. If you have been able to do that, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.